Oh my God, this is insane. I've died and gone to plant heaven. Welcome back. Today I'm going big box plant shopping. I have had amazing, amazing success recently, big box plant shopping. I don't know what's going on, but a lot of these shops in Charlotte seem to be getting so many amazing tropical plants. And I recently went to a certain Lowe's and they had some plants there that I was very, very interested in, but I had to leave quickly. They emergency evacuated because there was some kind of explosion and I'll link the episode here if you're interested in it. Everything turned out fine, but I had to leave and I couldn't pick up the plant that I was interested in. So I'm going back today and I'm also going to visit a Walmart because people have been commenting that they're finding amazing plants at Walmart uh, and I'm going to another Lowe's too. So it's gonna be a few different shops that I visit in this episode. So I'm really excited. Last Last time I went shopping, I found Pink Princess. I found an amazing um, Schistemiglottis wallachii. I think that's wallachii. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I mean, it's just insane the plants that are coming onto the market right now. So I'm really excited to take you along with me. I always share my haul at the end of the episode. And if you're new to my channel, my name's Ashley. Welcome. We're all crazy plant people here, so if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe. I post planty content about once a week. We do a lot of shopping. I share some plant care. You know, just relaxing, chill, planty vibes. And we also have a, a great community on Instagram as well, if that's of interest to you. Now, a huge thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this episode. Thanks to them, I can go out and do some plant shopping and share all of the cool plants that are in the Charlotte market right now. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can try out a new designer fragrance every month for just $17. It's flexible so you can skip any month without any penalties and you can also upgrade to get two or three products a month. We all love to smell good, but it can be so expensive to purchase fragrances, even travel size fragrances from the store. So to get a bottle like this and be able to try out different fragrances and have a 30 day supply without having to commit to a full bottle is amazing. And I love that it can just easily fit in my purse. There are over 600 designer brands to choose from. Perfumes, colognes, unisex options too, like Prada, Gucci, Versace, plus indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. They come in these cute little holders and you can lock so that it doesn't spray or unlock where you can give yourself a good spray. I received four different perfumes. The first one being Delina Exclusive. I could not believe that this was an option on there. To get a bottle of this costs $360. Some of the notes in this one are Turkish rose, vanilla, lychee, pear. Oh, it's just an ultra feminine, amazing, amazing scent. This is another beautiful feminine scent that I've been wanting to add. It has rose, verbena, cherry blossom. It's Chloe, rise, good habit. It's raspberry, pear, peony, freesia. This one smells amazing. It's definitely unisex and it smells like Irish spring soap to me. It's bergamot, grapefruit, rosemary, French lavender. Now, if you're not sure what type of fragrance you would like, they do have a really helpful quiz on their website. Make sure to click the link below and use my code plantlife55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's only about $8 for your first month. All right, time to visit Walmart and Lowe's, seeing what plants I can find. Let me know if there are any plants that you would pick out as we're shopping. It's always really helpful to me. And uh, I always share my haul at the end of the episode. So I've just walked into Walmart and I noticed all of these boxes filled with plants. Like so many boxes and all of these boxes over here are all filled with plants as well. Um, and it looks like they've put some plants out already, but I'm gonna have to come back because these are all packed full with plants. Um, so I was just taking like a quick little peek around. It looks like there's some really exciting stuff too. Like there's global green pothos. There's a big manjula over here and a hanging basket. Like that's new. I haven't seen hanging basket trending tropicals yet. <laughs> so it's kind of really exciting. Like look at these really beautiful raven zizis. And there's still all of these. I'm gonna head over to a couple lows 
I'm gonna see if I can find some of the plants that I was interested in the other day and maybe I'll come back later tonight and see if they've managed to unload all of these plants. I'm excited. It's like added suspense. All right, let's have, head over to Lowe's. All right, so I'm at this Lowe's where I came last time and there was a really cool like orchid cactus that looked enticing and I think I see one over here. And I've been thinking about it ever since. This is the one I'm interested in. It's a night blooming cactus, people were saying. Um, also, thank you so much guys for um, pointing stuff out because I'm still learning plants as I go. Um, it seems like there's always new and amazing plants to learn about. And this was one of the ones that everyone was kind of commenting on that they would have picked up if they would have been plant shopping with me today and or the other day. And so I think I might pick one up because they still have some here. And I've always seen them and they are usually really expensive, like 40 bucks and above, and this one's 20 and it's a nice full basket. So I'm excited they still have this one. And there's also some other amazing plants here. Look, they have a Brantianum and it's in this really, really cute planter. Such a great plant, this Brantianum. I have multiple Brantianums and it's $12.98 for this beautiful Brantianum, which is a really uh, uncommon, it's a rare plant and you can never find them around. And to see it in a big box shop is insane because the amount of money that us planty people were spending on these Brantianums were just next level. Uh, and they're still pretty expensive if you don't find them in big box shops. Again, $12.98 and it comes with this fabulous planter. That's the deal. And then last time I was here, they had Anthurium Fingers, which I picked up one, but it looks like they are sold out. They do have some of these really cool alocasias and they're really long leaf. Maybe they're Bambinos. There's a Birkin here, a Scandapsis. Now these are all $12.98 as well cute little I believe this is a desert rose 12.98 some dracaena varieties this looks like a deja vu um, here are some other really beautiful orchid cactuses this is cactuses oh my gosh what are you new here cacti <laughs> and I have one of these and I love it they're so easy care cool crocodile fern um, look at this really pretty Syngonium. Now these are $15, such, such a good deal. Some beautiful bromeliads. The bromeliads are 19. And let's see what other exciting plants. There's so many. I mean, we're packed here in Charlotte with, uh, with plants. Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe spring came early this year or something. Cause I'm, been so surprised with how many plants there have been out and about and it seems like they're re receiving shipments all the time beautiful skindapsis here calatheas Ooh, look they have a bertine hoyas here i've been starting to see these coming back out at the big box shops i noticed them last time at another lowe's again i'm at the like indian trail lowe's and um i love this hoya i have a couple of them and they're really fuzzy and normally I don't have repeat plants but the ones I do have repeat plants of are the ones that are like I really really love them um, here this is the happily one I picked one of these up the last time I was out look at that variegation it's so pretty lots of great plants here they're all about five dollars beautiful um, Fetonia and peace lily, ferns, crotons, some more cute little ferns, some purple waffle back there, some more purple waffle, rex begonia, kind of hanging out, cute little succulents. Let's see what else is down here. Some little snake plants. Looks like some frosted peperomias. Baltic blue. Some cute little ficus. Calathea mosaica, these are all $20. 
Scandapsis, Moonlight, Trubii, Calatheas. You know, I've never purchased a Trending Tropical Calathea, and the Trending Tropicals, um, the process that Costa Farms goes through to choose their plants that they put in their Trending Tropical collection, normally they have to be, they have to be able to like deal with a lot of neglect. Uh, and I'm wondering if the Calathea varieties that they choose are easier than most Calatheas. So let me know guys, because I know this one is, the Calathea Mosaica. Um, this one was great. So let me know what, about these kind, because they're so beautiful. I would love to add them to my collection, but I just seem to struggle with Calatheas. But um, maybe I need to give these kind of chance, specifically the trending tropical ones, because they are, like I said, usually sturdier plants that they choose. Beautiful Baltic blue. Um, peace lilies, Fetonia. Ooh, look at those gorgeous Rex begonias. Have some Diffenbachias here. Little ponytail palm, Aglionemas. Look, cute Ficus Audrey. This plant was so hard to find for the longest time. Really lovely. I like the planter it comes in. Scandapsis. Lots of really cool hanging baskets. Uh, Pilea peperomioides. There's another Tradescantia happily. Orchid cactus, Rex begonias. Now the smaller hanging baskets like these are 15. These large ones are 16. That's a great deal on those uh, golden pothos. And then these back here are 20. Look at that rabbit foot fern. <laughs> With the like, the fuzzy roots. I just love them so much. They've really grown on me. I did not like um, the rabbit foot ferns when I first started collecting and now I'm obsessed. I just think they're the coolest things ever. Pretty little, pretty little ivy. Let's see what else. Look at these little peace lilies. They're all blooming, so beautiful. Here's another Hoya Bertsene, $15. Such a great deal for this big lush Hoya, so easy care. And some Fetonia, all sorts of cool stuff. I like these ones here that have like the mixture of the two types. Ooh, okay, looks like we still have some clearance plants hanging out here. Um, and one of the types of plants I was interested in is over here in the clearance section. Now I'm always really careful with the plants I purchase in clearance. Um, 1998, 50% off, $10. But the soil is so saturated. Hmm. I don't want to waste $10 if it's just going to die. I'll think about it. What else do we have here? Some cool aglionemas. They have some nice plants here uh, on clearance. It makes sense because they're packed full, so they're probably trying to get rid of some of their other plants. Bird's nest ferns. There's a cute little um, fiddle leaf fig. Oh, look, they have a Hoya lacanosa, 50% off. That's a good deal. And it was originally 15, so half off that. Not a bad deal. Like eight bucks for a for a nice Hoya. Some really pretty African violets here. Aloe. Look at this little cacti guy. Still so many plants to cover. Gorgeous, gorgeous orchids. Cute little ZZs here, ponytail palms, aglionemas, bird's nest fern, another aglionema. Really lovely calathea there. Dracaena, ooh, they have a mandarin plant. This is nice. Isn't it beautiful? Just the color of that plant is what makes it. I don't have one of those, so maybe I'll consider it. Ooh, they have these neat, I think, believe it's aglionema that has the white on the outsides of the leaves. You only see them sometimes. They are 29. That's a good deal. And they have very, very white stems. 
Lots of beautiful aglaonema varieties. Snake plants back there. Look at all these big parlor palms. Uh, bromeliad, so lovely. Some big fiddles. Some lovely xanthosoma. If you're thinking about getting this plant, I'd say go ahead and go out to your big box shops because I'm seeing them right now in most big box shops, uh, here in Charlotte anyways. And sometimes it, what will happen is we'll get an influx of them for a while and then I don't see them again for a long time. So it's always good to grab them while you can. Some calatheas here. Look at this aglionema. These leaves, gosh, they're so blue and that like lime green down the center, so lush. Um, these are $15. Some ZZs. Cute little bird of paradise over here hanging out. Just lovely. All right, I'm here at Lowe's. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed I can find one of those curly uh, lipstick plants. I really, really want one so badly. And this is the only place I've ever seen one. But I just realized there's a Walmart next door as well. So if I um, have some time and if I don't find what I'm looking for here, I might pass by Walmart because they were packed the other day when I came and they don't seem to have as many plants, although they still have some really good ones. Like off the bat, they have these beautiful Marantas for $5, like such a great deal, beautiful plant. Here's some Syngoniums, a little rabbit foot fern, um, some ferns here, little Skindapsis, $15 for that Skindapsis, that's a good deal. Sometimes it'll have a label as to like what variety it looks like it looks like a silvery Anne, but um, Argraeus, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, looks very similar to silvery Anne and is a more uncommon variety. But fabulous plant, so easy care. Beautiful Fetonia, $15, so floofy. And uh, some nice Rex begonias. Another one of these orchid cactus. Let's see what else Ooh, going on over here. These are really pretty planters. I'm loving these blue and white planters. They're really pretty. Some nice snake plants. Look at this silvery frosted peperomia. So beautiful. And then up here, it looks like a neon pothos and Brazil, a fern. Yeah, lots of good stuff. Let me see, let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. Have some more bird's nest ferns, bonsai, some little fiddly figs over there. Um, hanging up here. Oh my gosh, is that a, for a second I thought that was a peru, but no, it's a golden pothos. But look at the texture of the leaves. Doesn't it look kind of peruish from a distance? Um, it's definitely not though. Brazil, heartleaf philodendron. These are probably like $20, $20. Yeah, 20. Some nice purple waffles and lots of ferns. They had these huge baskets of uh, hanging baskets of Manjula pothos and there's a lot of other hanging baskets around so I'll see if they're in a different area. But I wouldn't be surprised if those went quickly because it was $20 for the humongous baskets of Manjula pothos. Um, yeah, lots of great stuff, like the little Marantas. Oh, hey, this one looks like it has variegation on there. Look at that. You see the little, the little spots? This one has it too. Let me pull this little cutie out. And these are, f how much? Five, 548. Got some dead leaves though. So maybe overwatered a bit. But it definitely has some like little sport variegation going on. Yeah, let's see if these have it. Um, this one doesn't. Okay. This one does. Uh, 
thousand. So it's really just this one. That's cool. Maybe I can get a steel on it because it's got some leaves kind of you know, dying off. But see, they're the bottom leaves. So it could be that they're just the old leaves. Although this new unfurling leaf doesn't look good. Hmm. But if I get a discount for it, and get it for a couple bucks, maybe I can save it. But yeah, I think that's really cool. Little variegated pr prayer plant. Again, just always keep your eye out. You never know what you can find. This one has some variegation. Nope. Don't see variegation on that one. Oh, I think I just got lucky. Ooh, I got some fun plants over here. Some gorgeous staghorn ferns. These are 19. Some, looks like teddy bear. Tratoscantia, although the leaves are kind of longer than teddy bear, but they look like it. Kind of brown and fuzzy, 19. Some beautiful Alocasia polys and some Aglianema. This is an interesting Peperomia here. Nice. And these are all $15. Dang, it's a huge Alocasia poly for $15. It's a good deal. These little are, um, they're not that little. They're actually really nice size. They're 36 for these fiddles. Let's see what we have over here. Some little money trees and some spider plants, staghorn ferns. Just wanted to see if there's any other um, variegated marantas or prayer plants. No. I think it's just that one. It's so cute. Yeah, it's just this one. Hmm, cool. Yeah, these were all full of hanging plants when I came the other day. So, I don't know if I'll find my curly lipstick plant. That's all right. I like a good hunt. $19 for these strawberry begonias. So beautiful. Some peace lilies. You know, that's the fun of it. Like one of the reasons I love plant shopping so much is never know what you'll find. And I'll go on the hunt looking for one thing and then be totally caught off guard by another amazing plant that I find. I think that's the, you know, that's the fun of it. I call it plant treasure hunting. Ooh, this is a beautiful alocasia. Ponytail palms. I'm seeing more of these peperomias, $15 and it comes with the um, Wick and Grow uh, planters. Ooh, look, we got some rare plants over here. Silver dragon. Let me go around to this other side. All right, some peperomias up here. They look like they have some variegation on there. Twenty dollars. Oh, look at this beautiful monstera Peru. I mean, she growing. She is growing. Looks like only one of these, from what I can see. Twenty dollars and such a beautiful plant. Have some more Baltic blues. And they have um, some shingling, Raphidophora hyes. This is one of the few places I've seen them around. Very, very fast growing. If you're looking for like a shingling plant to grow up a plank or up your wall, these are so fast growing. And then if you trim it, um, it'll sprout out a whole new shoot and grows so, so fast. That silver dragon is really pretty back there with the black planter. If I didn't already have one, I would definitely buy another one. Such a great plant. Beautiful bird of paradise. Anthurium, look how purpley these flowers are. Ugh, so beautiful. And uh, we have some bromeliads. Orchids. Cute little money tree. Always look, looking out for like little variegated money trees. Still have yet to find one, but maybe one day. Brazil there. Some beautiful Syngonion. Syng Syngonion. Syngonium. My word. Neon Robusta maybe. Yeah, some beautiful plants. Like really healthy, really lush. Maybe um Prince of Orange or something similar, $22. Some uh, red Marantas here. It's 
some nice hanging planters. Calathea mosaica here, aglionema, uh, lemon lime, philodendron. It looks very similar to a neon pothos, but it has those heart-shaped leaves instead of the more elongated ones that you get with pothos. <gasps> Look at that leaf! Dang! That is a beautiful Prince of Orange. If I hadn't bought one recently, I would buy this one because this one's much bigger than the one I have and it's so lush and they're so reasonably priced. It's $22 and it comes with like beautiful, beautiful planters. Okay, okay, I totally forgot that this Walmart was over here and they have a lot, a lot of plants. They have hanging, hanging plants. So I'm just gonna go right over to the hanging plants to see what they have. Oh my gosh, I see so many amazing plants. Ooh, okay, right off the bat, Manjula pothos. I always get so out of breath when I get excited. Okay, Manjula pothos, stunning. Look at this gorgeous hanging planter, $20. Oh, I'm in love. Um, we have the Pilea peperomioides, red marantas, these are all $20. Beautiful Tradescantia, lots of golden pothos mixed in here. I'm just gonna do the hanging ones for now, but there's still so many plants. These are all beautiful golden pothos. What is this one? Is this one Mandula? Look how beautiful that Mandula is. It's just such a beautiful plant. Look at this um, Crimson Princess Hoya. That is so beautiful. Oh, this is one of those big $20 humongous Mandula pothos. Okay, they do have them here. Oh, I don't see a curly lipstick plant though. All right, I'm gonna keep looking though. This is really pretty. And it looks like they only have one of these really, really big ones, but they do have the other ones that are still nice size in the really pretty hanging baskets and hanging pots. Um, Trying to take it all in, see what they have. Looks like they just recently got a shipment in, so it's kind of cool. Normally Walmart in this area doesn't have like a ton of stuff, but lately I have been noticing some good plants. Some Birkins. Calatheas, $15 on those. $15 for that Birkin. What a great deal. Bromeliads, they're $9. I'll name off the prices here because they are really good prices. $15 and it comes with the planter. I mean, just a pot alone would cost that price normally. Again, $15 for all of these. Aglionema, Calathea, Golden Pothos. Cute little bonsai, $15. Like, that's a great little gift. Ooh, they have um, the Raphidophora Hyes here, and they are 19. They have the beautiful, the beautiful, beautiful Silver Dragon, Alocasia. And I love the gray planters. It looks so nice with the leaves. Those are 20 as well. <gasps> Shut the front door. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If you could see my face, guys. Okay, I'm dying. I'm literally, I've died and gone to plant heaven. Okay, it's a Monstera Stanleyana. Look at the variegation on there. They have so many. Shut up. 20 bucks. Oh my God. This is insane. This is insane. This is so insane. It's so beautiful. I just want all of them. I just want to put, buy all of them up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Look, that one has like a half moon. And there's multiple ones in the pot. Do you know how expensive these are, guys? Wow, look at this one. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh, they're so beautiful. How am I gonna pick one? Oh my gosh, they're so, so amazing. I'm so glad I came here. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. They're so beautiful. Again, I'm at the 
I'm like over in Monroe area of Charlotte. I'll put the, um, sorry, I'm not thinking, put the address below. Okay, I'm gonna try to decide between these two. Like this one has like very, very white variegation and then this one has more like creamy, but it's chunkier. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This one has this new leaf coming out. This is crazy. I have a small one of these and they're so expensive to buy from the store. This is amazing. Wow, amazing. And it comes with the planter, 20 bucks. It's like $10 for the plant and then $10 for the planter. Or the pot, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just like having a meltdown. Okay. Whew, all right. Trying to get my breath back. <laughs> I'm like, only you guys would understand. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, this is why I made this channel because everyone else would, is like, she's nuts and I am nuts. But uh, yeah, you guys get it. You guys totally get it. I'm so thankful for all of you um, like that tag along with me on these plant shopping trips because when we have these finds, it's like we gotta share it with somebody, right? Look at this, so cute, $24 for this beautiful Monstera. Um, again, always keep an eye out for any kind of sport variegation. You know, lots of people find all sorts of sport variegation on plants. Uh, 95 for these really huge fiddles back there. Gorgeous Monstera. L wow, look at these humongous peace lilies. $24. They have these really huge Bird of Paradise, $46. Aglionema, Dracaena. Oh, you just cannot beat that though. But all of these plants are really reasonably priced. Like these are $13. And gosh, that looked like it was a huge, huge, maybe an imperial red. Beautiful um, rubber tree. Some gorgeous ZZs here. Stunning. They also have these really awesome um, chocolate anthurium that you just can't find around that much. Beautiful, I always point them out when I see them. Uh, they have the red ones and then they have the chocolate ones. Or the black beauties are also called. How much are these little plants? Cause they are like five, six dollars at Lowe's and Home Depot. 448, so they're a dollar less from here. $10 for these beautiful Diffenbachias, money trees, um, some really healthy looking uh, grafted cactus. And then they have some other cool ones. Like, look at these. Are these the pickle ones? The ones that are called like pickle cactus. I'm not sure, they're really neat though. Some beauties down here. This looks like a snowflake euphorbia, which is a very uncommon, you know, it's an uncommon euphorbia. You don't see them around that much. So if they do have snowflake euphorbias here at Walmart, that's pretty cool. Let me see what price these all are. Imagine that five bucks, good deal. So I cannot believe these plants that are coming to the Charlotte market. It is insane, completely unexpected. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share my haul with you guys. Again, it always happens where I go out kind of with a plan and I never find the plants I'm looking for. I just always end up finding other amazing plants. Now there is one plant that I was looking for that I ended up picking up today. It's this beautiful orchid cactus, also known as a night blooming cactus. And I ended up going back for this one because a lot of you all said, oh my gosh, that's a great deal, 20 bucks for one of these. And I agree, I'd never seen this type of uh, orchid cactus at a big box shop before. Now, I ended up getting the one that they had on clearance. As you can see, it's a little beaten up. I can see why it's on clearance, uh, but it was only $10, which is such a great deal. And I thought, you know, I can definitely um, make sure that this plant 
does okay. And with the heat on in my house, soil's drying out really quickly and it doesn't appear to be suffering from root rot. It does have some nice new growth happening in here. So share your care tips uh, on this plant. And I see little cobwebs on here and I was kind of wondering if it had spider mites and I took a look and there's a little spider that lives in here. So he'll help with any of the pests that I have going on. Anyways, maybe I'll just give it a little bit of time, let the soil dry out a bit, um, see what leaves die off, trim back those leaves, and then just give it a good bit of sunlight. Now I know with these types of orchid cactus, you have to be careful um, because, because they can sunburn if they have too much sun on the leaves. So I'll give it a good amount of bright and direct light. But it's so cool. I was really excited to add one of these to my collection. Again, I don't know much about night blooming cacti, so leave your tips in the comments. That's greatly appreciated. Next up is this really beautiful prayer plant, this little Maranta. And as you can see, she's suffering a little bit. She's dropping some of her leaves. It's probably some root rot. Maybe a little bit. There's a lot of excess soil, but it does look like she has some nice white roots in there. She just has all this extra soil around. Like you can't even really see the roots. So I'll take a look at that. It looks like she was in like a self-watering, self-watering pot. So I might repot her. But anyways, I got her for $2. And the most exciting part about this plant is the variegation. She has variegation on her. So let me show you some of the leaves. You, if you watch the shopping part, you saw that this was the only one that had variegation at the big box shop. I just got lucky and it has a fair amount. Like you can see here, all of the little spots. Um, now these can be pretty expensive. It is desirable to have this type of Maranta, uh, a variegated form of it. And quite a few of the leaves have these little variegation spots on it. Isn't she cute? It's like her little freckles. I love it. And yeah, so I told the lady that when I was checking out, I was like, it looks a little rough. Can you cut me any kind of deal? So she sold it to me for $2. <laughs> I can't believe I found a variegated Maranta for $2. Literally the best deal ever. So I'll give this one some nice light, hopefully to help promote the variegation of it a little bit. And we'll see how she does. And if, you know, if she doesn't make it, it was only $2, but gonna give it a fair shot. Thought that was a great, uh, great, great find. So last up was the best find of the day, I think. Last up is this beautiful, beautiful Monstera Standliana. Absolutely stunning. I am so obsessed with this plant. I do have another one, but it's like the tiniest little baby one and I paid so much money for it. And I cannot believe these are now in the Charlotte market and they're $20. Huh? And there's three different plants in here. Three different plants. So the reason I chose this one, it didn't have the most variegation, but I always like to check on the backs of the leaves and look at the stems and see which one has the, the best variegation. And typically if it just has variegation on the front of the leaves and not on the backs, then I kind of am unsure of the, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's a truly variegated leaf. And this one definitely had the more solid variegation on the back sides of the leaves. So I find with this plant, if you give it enough light, it should put out some nice variegation. It looks so healthy. They have them labeled as Monstera Cobra, which I have heard that name for Stan Leanna. It's just such a wonderful, wonderful plant. I love it so much. And it, I really like the planter and the pot that it came with. So beautiful. Have you guys been finding these in, you know, in other areas of the country? I've never seen these in Charlotte. I just stumbled across it at the Walmart. I will put the um, location at that Walmart below. Also, that first Walmart I, that I went to had all of those boxes that they hadn't uh, unboxed yet. So I'm going to go back, I think, tomorrow or the next day and see what that Walmart has because maybe that Walmart will have more of this type of plant or people have been finding so much good stuff at the big box shops. That's why I'm running out to big box shops so much. Um, I feel like I'm neglecting my little specialty nursery favorite places because these big box shops have so much stuff and 
the finds have been insane lately. So as far as care on this one, I'll let it uh, dry out about halfway and then I'll give it some water, you know, medium light, bright indirect light, probably because of the variegation I want to promote it. And if you have any other additional tips, you know, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what plants you would have picked out if you would have been plant shopping with me, if you guys have been finding any good finds. Oh, what a, what a rush. I had the best time shopping today. And like I said, I'm gonna visit that other Walmart again. So keep an eye out because I'll be posting more, more videos soon. Uh, so if you'd like to see future episodes show up in your newsfeed so you don't have to hunt me down and our channel down, subscribe and it'll show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a great community on Instagram as well. So yeah, thanks again for tagging along. Thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring this episode. Such a cool subscription service. I've included a code below for 55% off, PLANTLIFE55. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye. <laughs>